This is Angelique. We're here. We're live. We're a couple minutes late, but that's okay. Come on in the room. Where's everybody? Waiting, waiting, waiting. Here we go. Hello, Denise. I see you. We got about, uh, ooh, lots of people painting today. The bubblegum girl was, I mean, the lollipop girl is a hit. See if I can get some of this light off me. Get away a little bit. Everybody's joining in. Took me a little minute. I had a little bit of technical difficulty, but uh, just a couple minutes late. So we're ready to rock and roll. I hope you have everything that you need. I don't know how this is gonna work out with that, but we'll see. Oh, you can see on there, huh? All right, everybody got their wine, everybody got their music. Yeah, I don't have any music today. So I have to guide you through with, uh, you know, playing great songs in my head. I was gonna sing This Little Light of Mine again, but I thought that wouldn't be a good idea. So, oh, hold on. Get my shout out list here, because that's important. Okay, make sure you have your cup of water. I always want to remind you to do that. Sean. What's up? Sean. I see. Hey, Sean. You paint with us today? Hey, hey. <laughs> okay, let's get started. What do I got? 14 people? I think I'm going to wait a little bit. I got a birthday party going on. Is my birthday girl here? Is my birthday girl in the room with like six people? This is gonna be such a fun painting from a very long week. I think we all need this, don't we? I need this. Okay, my name is Angelique and I am the shoe chick because when you paint with me, kids in Africa get shoes. Um, my featured wine today, because you know you gotta have your wine, right? The painting looks better when you have your wine. My wine today is Menage a Trois. Yeah, it sounds fun, right? I thought it would be fun too. It says Chardonnay. It's a, of course, because that's my favorite. It's buttery, it is indulgent, and it is creamy. I didn't like it. It was a little underwhelming, as my daughter Liza would say. Um, I like my Chardonnays with, I like them full bodied. I like a lot of flavor to them. This was more like that light crisp thing, like a, a Savion Blanc or closer to a Pinot Grigio. So not one of my favorites, but however, I am still drinking it today because I like to drink and paint and listen to music. So, everybody in the room, ooh, 20 people. Where's my birthday girl? Happy birthday. So, I'm gonna do some shout outs later, but I just wanna make sure that everyone is here. Can you see them? Oh, my special guest today. How can I not do this? My special guest today, y'all not gonna believe this. It is Mr. Will Daniels. Hello everyone, how's everybody doing? <laughs> That's all you're gonna get from him until the end. You'll hear his voice coming in out with some questions. So, you know, um, I'm trying to get my family involved, whether they like it or not. So, <laughs> last week was Liza, Liza will be here tomorrow, and this week is my husband, Mr. Will Daniel. So, thank you, Will, for being here today and helping me, appreciate it. Okay, so, without further ado, let's get into this painting. Okay, I'm gonna flip it over here, and I'm gonna talk to you about um, how this all works because some of the people are joining me today that have never done a virtual paint party before I am going to take you 90% through the painting You're gonna do the other 10% on your own and you're gonna post your masterpieces Everyone that is painting with me today received a kit for just the low low quarantine price of just $15 Yes, $15 with curbside pickup. So they pull up pop their trunk text me and I put it in your trunk so I'm saying that so um, more people paint because it's really fun. Like almost like 90% of the people that have painted will paint with me again. We're doing this every Friday and Saturday for $15 until the quarantine thing is up. So, um, Will, can you see on my phone? Like if anybody's saying anything or you can see all that because I can't see that. So you yes. guys tell me if people are saying anything. Everybody saying hello. Any questions? Anybody? Everybody here? We good? We good? Okay, so they got a 16 by 20 canvas that is pre-traced in their kit. Um, by the way, that plastic bag that it came in is really good for covering your table to protect it from the paint. Um, and then you got that plastic apron you might want to put on. And it fully opens.
opens up with a little bit of water you might have to put on your hand. It fully opens up and then it goes over your head to protect your clothing, clothing from, the, from the paint. We are painting with acrylic paints today. They wash very easily off your hands and your skin, etc., but not so easily out of your clothes. So if you're wearing something you really like, you really might want to wear the apron, okay? So also in the kit, kit you have a in the kit, you have a reference photo. Um, this photo is so that um, if you want to make it look exactly like mine, that you can. And I want to encourage you to use your own creative freedom. This is Paint Party 101. That means um, it's just the basics. Like, we're not doing anything, like, spectacular. We are going to mix a little bit of paint today. But, um, like, we're not doing perspective drawing or color theory or anything like that. The objective is to have fun. So if you want to make her lips thicker, you want to look, make her lips smaller, you want to change her hairdo, please, please, please do it. Any questions, Will? Anybody say anything? What? In Indiana, uh, I guess, uh, is there any way for me to draw the design? She's the, Patricia in Indy is asking. Um, actually, I'm working on kits to go. So, inbox me later, I'll tell you a little bit more about that. There is a way that I can send the image to you so you can trace it yourself. I'm working on so many ideas. This has lots of creative freedom. By the way, did you guys like the little sucker I fit in there? The little lollipop? Wasn't that kind of... Cool. I thought it was cool. I try to talk as much as I can right now because I know that um, once y'all get into the painting, y'all not going to talk to me anymore. So anyway, sponge brush. That was in your kit. I don't usually paint with a sponge brush. I'm painting with a sponge brush today for coverage and everything in your kit is disposable except for the easel. I need to get the easel back. So light coat of water on the canvas. I'm going right into the water um, about halfway and I'm putting a light coat of water on my canvas. I am paying attention to the trace lines, but not real scared that I'm gonna wash them away because they don't wash away quite that easily. They're not um, totally like pencil. They are on there with carbon. So the reason why we put a light coat of water on here, as most of you know, is to activate the canvas so that it is ready to accept paint because it kind of primes it. Now, some artists, they paint it um, totally white before they start. To, for like a primer and sometimes I use gesso. Gesso is another um, um, product that's used to prep the canvas so it's ready to accept paint. But the important thing is that you just don't go straight all in on the canvas painting because if you do that it'll just suck up that first layer of paint and yeah that's not good. Take you a long time. Well an additional coat to get the color that you want. And like I said we're painting with acrylic paints today. The easiest me medium really to work with a great medium to learn with. I mean, you can get paints at Walmart for just 50 cents for a little, little, um, like two or three ounce ones. So um, I would really encourage you, if you're a beginning painter, just to stick, stick with the acrylic paints. Any questions, Will, out there? Comments? Everybody say hello, get in contact. Hello, yeah, what's, hello. Up? what's up, what's up? Who, who, who's saying it? Maritza. <laughs> Hi, Maritza. Can you see it on my phone, Will? Because you can't see either. <laughs> I can I'm see. Like, I want to make sure that, you know. I can see. I just can't see well. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see well either. So maybe you can. I don't know if you can see the comments on there as they come through or if you have to look at there. Okay. So anyway, let's get rolling. So we got that light coat of water in there. Sometimes I work a little too fast. You can let me know if I am. You, are, you can watch the playback. And the cool thing is I figured out how to pull it off Facebook Live and put it on YouTube. So if you don't feel like scrolling through my thing, my, my Facebook page and you want to see the link, I can totally just send it to you because we're working on a YouTube channel. Okay? So, light coat of water on my canvas. And then I'm going to... There we go. I'm going to... Uh, yeah, that's not it. Let me, yeah. let me get you out of there. Because that's... You, you got to turn the volume down. Okay. Okay, so. Light coat of water on my canvas. I have the sponge brush right here. And, ooh, I'm not going to do that. I change my mind. Put the sponge brush aside, get your black paint out. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna outline the painting. And we don't usually do that, but I think it's necessary on this one because I don't wanna lose a lot of the lines. We're not gonna do a really hard line because, um, you know, I'm really not into making things look like a coloring book, but this is gonna help us, um, guide us when we are painting in the different parts of the painting. Because Sandra wants to know, can you put too much water? Can, yes, you can put too much water. We don't want it dripping, just a very light coat. And if you put too much water on there, you're gonna take your blue paper towel and you're just gonna dab it here and there. 
so it's not dripping. We don't want it dripping, okay? Good question. Don't want it dripping. So just wipe it off just a little tiny bit. So put the sponge brush away, not in your water. If you put it in your water, it's okay, but we don't want it in the water. I got my black paint. I got that blue handle paintbrush. I'm going to put a tiny, tiny bit of black paint on the tip of my paintbrush. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over these trace lines, okay? So I think I see a question over there, Will. Is there a question? No, that slide is saying hi. Oh, hi, Liza. <laughs> so I'm starting with the fro, outlining it first because I want to get the most black around the fro. And then I'm just lightly, from that one little dip of paint I did, I'm just very lightly going over, tracing over, the, right on top of those trace lines, okay? So just very lightly following all of the trace. Not perfect but I just want to make sure that I'm able to see them. Now I'm still using just that one dip of black paint that I had. And I'm just outlining her so you can see her a little better. Doesn't have to be perfect, just right on top of those lines. And you'll see why we're doing that a little bit later. So I'm out of paint, I've dragged it as much as I could and put another little tiny, tiny bit of paint on my paintbrush. And then I'm using the very tip of my paintbrush, by the way, because I want to get a thin line. Very tip of my paintbrush, dragging that paint over there. The hand's a little tricky, but we can work that out. Don't worry about that if it looks a little goofy right now. We can work all that stuff out later. So the reason I wanted to do that, too, because it gives you a better image of what it looks like, you know, on camera, too. You can see where we're at here. All right, that looked pretty good. Now, if you put that sponge brush in your water, I want you to kind of um, use your blue paper towel and squeeze the water out of it a little bit. Then we're gonna go into the blue paint and we're gonna paint the background. I don't want you to stick that brush all the way into the, in the blue paint, okay? And there's two reasons for that, because it's gonna absorb a lot of paint that we don't, that's not necessary. Plus, we have to use this paint brush to paint our fro. So we're going to rinse it out and then we're going to use it for black. So we don't want a whole bunch of blue paint all over this thing and have to wash it out and it's going to be like a total mess, okay? So just dip it in. See, not even that much. The key is a little bit of paint. And then we're going to do vertical brush strokes. As many vertical brush strokes as we can to paint in the background. Just like that. Okay, and I'm going to go fast, but you go at your own pace but I'm probably gonna go a little fast. And there's plenty of time to kind of catch up. It's, a, it's not a race, it's a journey, not a race, right? <laughs> it's about enjoying the experience. So, as many vertical brush strokes as you can. And for those of you who painted with me before, you know we're gonna paint the sides. And the reason why we paint the sides, is so you can hang up your masterpiece without a frame. So Will, you got any questions for me while everybody's painting in the background and I'm babbling along? And this is pretty easy to do. And if your background isn't that dark, if it's not as dark as you want it, you can add another coat of blue later. But the important thing, I just want to get the first layer of blue down. So hey. any questions from you, Will, or anybody? Just a question. What inspired you to paint? <laughs> what inspired me to paint? Yeah. Like period? Yeah. What made you say I'm going for it? Well, as a little kid, I always drew, and I drew the pictures out of the coloring book. And then, um, for the most of you know, some of you don't, but I worked for a really famous artist. Her name was Miss Annie Lee. And um, I thought artists just got a blank ca canvas and then made masterpieces. I thought they just got the blank canvas and they created a masterpiece. I didn't know they. I didn't even know that they sketched first. So when I saw that Annie sketched first, I was like, Oh, I can do that. I, if I can draw, I can paint because I can, I can draw and I can learn the techniques of painting. So that's really what inspired me. Yes, Will. Couple you look like you want to say something. A couple, <laughs> couple people were just asking you to slow down just a little bit. Okay, so, um, okay, I'll slow down just a little bit, but I'm going to wait. So once I finish this, I'm going to do some shout outs for you guys to catch up. So that's why I'm kind of painting kind of fast. So don't worry about catching up with me. I'm going to stop at one point and wait for you all to catch up, okay?
So if you're not quite with me, it's okay. And still, see, it's not all, the paint is not like fully over my paintbrush. I'm trying to just keep it on, just basically keep it on the tip, going around that sucker and filling up the glue. So yeah, so Annie was not my, she didn't teach me how to paint or anything. She was definitely my inspiration. And just to know that, hey, if I can draw, I can probably learn the techniques I need to paint. So, all right, so it's pretty light blue. And like I said, you could add another coat later if you want. You can fill in those gaps with the small paintbrush if you can't get really close enough to her. But see how she's coming to life? It's so exciting to me. You can take pictures as you go along. Actually, I love that when people take pictures as you go along. And I am resting, I'm just resting my paintbrush right now, I'm not in the water, I'm just resting it on the tray. I'm gonna wait a little while. While you catch up, I wanna do some shout outs because I appreciate y'all. I appreciate you all painting with me. I have um, Denise and Dawn, you guys have been so great and your wonderful daughter, Denise. I don't know her name, but I got to chat with her a little bit when you guys picked up your supplies, so thank you. Shalina. Um, Cassandra Cotton, you're new, so I hope you're having a good time. Melissa, Maritza, um, Shayla, Sharika, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Aries Rock, by the way, my birthday was last week, so happy, happy birthday. I hope you and your party having a good time. I hope you can hear me. You probably have the music all turned up and <laughs> have me on mute, but happy birthday. Um, Brianna, um, thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us. Who else? Let's see, let's see. I think I have a few more. Oh, Leandra, girl, she's painted with me like 10 times. So Leandra, you probably already did your painting and you are not watching me because I know how you are. But if you are, shout out, let me hear you, let me see you. Um, Quinn, oh Quinn, I'm so glad that we connected and I'm glad you came back and painted with me again. Um, Sh Sh Shoshana is a new painter, so thank you for joining us. Um, Tanya, Tanya, you were the one of the first people to pick up and you're painting today and tomorrow, so thank you for your support. Um, Erica, you got four kids, so hi to you and all of your friends. And I got Krista here. Um, I think that's just about everybody. And if I miss your name today, tell me I miss your name. <laughs> and what do the old folks say? Charge it to my head, not my heart. Yeah, that part. <laughs> I'll catch you next time. So thank you. I really, really appreciate you guys painting with me. This is my therapy as well as yours. I've been looking forward to Friday. And now I'm doing it on Friday and Saturday, so it's going to be fun. So I'm hoping that most of you are caught up now. Trichelle's watching. Um, what'd she say? She, she, she said, oh, it just says, hi, yeah. Trichelle. So, so anyway, so we have the blue on the background. You're probably all caught up with that by now. And let me, let me know if you're not. I think that would probably be it. And for those of you who are done with that, what I want you to do is I want you to take your water and I want you to take that blue paintbrush and I want you to swish it around in there because we're going to wash it out a little bit. And your hands might get a little yucky because you got to squeeze it out because it's a sponge brush and we're going to wash it a little bit more and squeeze it out. But we're artists and we don't mind getting a little dirty, right? Squeeze it out as much as we can. We're going to put black on it and black is extremely powerful. It's going to overtake this blue. So I'm just squeezing out my brush. It still looks a little milky, but that's okay. I'm gonna take my super absorbent blue paper towel and dry it off a little bit more. You can also wipe off your hand if that's bothering you. <laughs> it doesn't bother me, I have paint everywhere. Um, and then we're gonna start on the front. Y'all ready? Even if you're not ready, just take a moment and take a look at what I just did. I squished my brush around in that water. I got the blue off of it. I squished that blue paint off with my hand. I wiped it off on the paper towel. Then I'm taking my black paint. And what I'm gonna do is I'm basically gonna color in her fro black with the sponge brush. That's it, that's easy, right? So it's just like coloring, but I'm using the paintbrush. So anyway, black, you can see is so powerful. You're not gonna see any blue coming through from that paintbrush. Um, again, if you have a big paintbrush, you could use that instead. If you're going to paint with me a lot, I'd say I'd invest in a bigger paintbrush because that's the only reason I'm using this sponge one for coverage. Now make sure if there's a gap like white, you're going to get it over that white. I don't want any white coming through the fro. And I'm filling it in, painting it in. Any comments, Will? 
Everybody good? I think everybody's praying. I know, it gets quiet after a while. You have another question for me? How often do you paint? <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound planned at all. <laughs> you gotta get yourself acting lessons. <laughs> How often do I paint? Every time I can. I, I paint every day now because I'm working on my gift and you know the 10,000 hour rule and all that stuff. I'm a sincere believer in that. The more you paint, the more you do anything, the better you get. So really I'm committed to being in my studio every day from like eight to noon at least. And if I can get away with painting later than that, I try to paint later. Um, lately I've been trying not to paint on Sunday. I've been trying to take like one day off a week to recharge. But now since I'm doing two paintings a week, I find myself painting on Sunday mornings. So that's okay with me too. So I just try to paint because, I mean, I love it. When you love what you do, you don't really like have to measure the hours or keep track of it. But I am very conscious that I want to get better and better. And so that's why I paint so much. So there you go. I painted in the fro. That looks pretty boring, doesn't it? Well, um, I want to show you some effects that you can get. Um, if you look at that reference photo, you can see some texture in the fro, right? This sponge brush is perfect for that. The blue handle brush is gonna work on that too, but I'm just gonna take um, my sponge brush and I'm gonna go outside of those lines. I'm putting them, you might not even need to put any more paint on that. You'll be the judge of that when you start tapping around the fro. So I'm gonna go outside of this uniform line here and I'm just gonna tap and I'm twisting my brush back and forth. I'm just kind of twisting it back and forth. Anybody ever did faux painting like on walls and stuff at home? Like that used to be a thing. I don't know if that's a thing anymore. I'm not really into home decorating and stuff. But if you go and just twist your brush, and you might not even have to twist it. If you twist it, you'll see what kind of effect I'm talking about. But I'm going outside of that uniform line, and I'm just adding a little bit of texture to the fro. I'm not going to go on her face because we're going to paint her face brown, of course, right? So I'm just going, adding a little bit of texture outside of the so I'm painting on an angle too, so y'all gotta forgive me. I'm not trying to make the painting look exactly like that. Oh, I'll probably come pretty close, but art is a reflection of who you are in the moment, right? So I'm trying to think about who I was in the moment when I was painting a lollipop girl. Oh, it was last Sunday morning and I wanted to paint something cool. And the first painting I didn't like too much. And so I was like, I wanna paint something fun. And so I came up with this. So this is an Angelique original. Some of the stuff I do are not originals, but everything I do on the virtual paint party are original. So, and all those paintings you see in the back that are on that flyer that you received in your little packet, those are all my designs. So anyway, I, I can't wait to see if you guys are getting this effect because it's pretty easy to do and I think it's pretty fun. Um, you can even like go like, if you really are obsessed with making it look exactly like the reference photo, then you could hold it up next to it and try to get the same pattern. I wouldn't recommend that because it seems like it would drive you absolutely crazy. But just have fun. Like, I want to make a big piece sticking out here, you know, and kind of blend it in a little bit. But you can always, we can always use our, um, we're going to use that blue handle paintbrush and add some more effects to the fro. But that's kind of fun, huh? Does that look fun now? It looks good. It might just look fun to me because I just kind of have fun all the time, so... <laughs> Anyway, I have black paint on this paintbrush. I'm not gonna put it in the water. I'm gonna lay it in my tray. That blue, little tiny blue handle brush that we were working with, I'm sticking it in my water. I hope it's resting in the water. Usually, like this blue handle one, we want it always in the water. The sponge one, we don't want it always in the water because it sucks all the water up, okay? So, the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna paint her beautiful brown skin. But it's kind of tricky, not but, but um, it's going to require us mixing some paint a little bit. I do not like the consistency of the brown paint. I was working with it a little bit earlier because um, I practice a little bit before I just roll, we just jump into painting. So um, is anybody telling me to slow down? Will's like watching me. He's like into it, which is kind of cool. <laughs> he's like, he's like not paying attention to the uh, comments. I'm watching the comments. I'm watching the comments. <laughs> Wait, is anybody saying anything? Everybody cool? They said watching. So, okay. watching. so I am going to put a little bit of brown paint in my mixing tray, about a tablespoon or so. 
If you like this um, color that she is, that's brown, that's fine. But we really need to, you're still gonna have to add a little bit of white because the consistency of the brown paint when it hits the canvas, it's just kind of weird and you'll see what I mean. So if you don't want it to be that, if you want it to stay this color, just a little tiny bit of white, I'm just gonna put like, maybe just, a, it's hard to see on here, but maybe just like a quarter teaspoon. I don't even know if you can see that in the corner. It's not really good. But just a little, little tiny bit. And then I'm going to take my blue handle paintbrush. It has a little bit of water on it. And I'm gonna throw a little bit of water in here too. Just, just a little bit. And I'm gonna mix them together. So a little tiny bit of water and a little bit of, of the white paint really isn't changing the color too much. But it's the way it lays down on the canvas. I really just didn't like it. So you gotta mix a little bit of white in there. I don't know if there's something in the base of the white that makes it lay down better on the canvas, but anyway, that's what mine looks like. If you want it to be a little bit lighter, you're gonna add a little bit more white paint. And you can also even mix it on the canvas itself. So, what does that say? Just uh, more people, people are watching? Yes. Oh, oh, how many people do we have watching? 20, how many is that up there? 22. 22, cool. So, um, now we're gonna paint the brown. Break, paint your skin. And every time we paint something, we pretty much outline it and fill it in, right? So I'm gonna start with her arm. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna outline it I'm going right on top of those lines that we made earlier, and then I am painting it in. And I'm trying to use as many um, vertical strokes as I can. Yeah, the white, putting that white in there really makes it lay down a little bit better so it's not so streaky. We're gonna put another coat on it later because we're gonna play around with our hair a little bit more, and then we're gonna add um, another coat of brown if necessary. So again, I'm working a little fast, but then I'm gonna stall out a little bit by answering some of Will's fascinating questions <laughs> as we go along. So now I'm doing her neck, outlining a little bit. Now that black that we laid down earlier is making um, a little bit of a contrast between the, the, um, the brown in her skin and then the outline around her, uh, each part of her body. So that's another reason why we did the black line. I'm going right on top of the line so that it's a little bit darker and you can see where the arm starts and stops, where the neck starts, where the chin starts, all that stuff, okay? So that's another reason why we put that black down there. Now, if your paint's getting sticky, not flowing the way you want, looking a little weird, put a little bit of water on your paintbrush. Even though the water is blue, it's going to be fine. Trust me. So... Something about that white paint really smooths the brown out better. Now, if you have a bigger paintbrush handy, like if you got your own paintbrushes, I would have a big paintbrush. I was gonna cheat, but I don't, and I don't wanna do that and use my big paintbrush, because I wanna be on the same playing field. I wanna use the exact same tools that you're using. So I'm not gonna cheat, but I really want a bigger paintbrush. <laughs> so, a little streaky, so I added a little bit of water to it. So I can even out the skin tone a little bit. I'm going fast, but remember, I'm gonna give you time to catch up. We've been painting about 30 minutes already. Can you believe that? It's so therapeutic. <laughs> I like it. So it's kind of weird without my music though, but I can fill up the time. We're giving you instructions, which are very useful. I hope these tips are useful. So a little bit of water, anytime it's getting a little streaky. Um, doing her arm here, her hand's kind of weird, but don't worry about it, we can fix the hand if you're not feeling comfortable with how the hand is looking. We're gonna work that out too. Don't worry about it. And again, I'm going a little bit fast. What kind of wine is everybody drinking? I know it's a little too late. Who's drinking Stella Rose? Everybody drinks Stella Rose these days. Or Moscato or Moscato. Any Chardonnay drinkers? If you're drinking a Chardonnay, I want to know what kind of Chardonnay you're drinking. My favorite right now is the what I had last week, butter, Buttercup. That's my favorite Chardonnay right now. It may change. I got a new one for tomorrow. I'm anxious to try. This is fun, like sharing that with you guys. 
So if you have a Chardonnay, you want to recommend. Because one day, I'll get an endorsement. Somebody, some maybe Lee's Discount Liquor will pay me to try Chardonnays every week. That'd be cool, right? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> you like that, huh, Will? <laughs> I'll have Lee on here. <laughs> He's local, you know. He lives in Henderson. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, so... Got the uh, arm, got the neck. A pointy doesn't help me. Really somebody, mentioned, <laughs> somebody mentioned uh, it, it E T U D E Chardonnay. Oh, okay. I'll look at it later. I will try it. Thank you. Somebody mentioned vodka. <laughs> no vodka. <laughs> Mr. D. No hard stuff for me. <laughs> for you. <laughs> okay, so I'm doing the face now. And like I said, I'm painting a little fast than probably any of you are. I can't wait to see a face. I wonder who's changing the hairdo. If anybody's brave enough, you got Afro puffs going on. They're gonna put like a headband on her hair later or something. Painting around her eye. I'm kind of painting over her eye. I just want to make sure that I can still see it because we're gonna paint it black. So I don't want any white space around it. So I'm painting very lightly over it. Does that make sense? I hope it does. But I just I that's why we did black first because I just want to make sure that. I keep the design of the eye intact because sometimes it's kind of hard for people to do. So I'm going around her lips. I'm feeling it here. Should I whisper? Like, did Bob Ross? Bob Ross didn't whisper, dude. No, he just talked <laughs> so low. And he had a, a very uniform. I'm kind of yelling because I don't have a microphone, but I ordered one because some people said they couldn't hear me very well. So anyway, next time I'll have a microphone. I'm already working on next week's picture. It's gonna be so, I hope you guys like it. It's always interesting to see what you all like and you wanna paint and what doesn't move so well. So, as you can see, I'm getting a little bit more fun with my designs from the Fearless Fairy to the Lollipop Chick and the Sailboat. So, Saturdays are more of a family-oriented painting and then on Saturdays and on Fridays are more like stuff that I want to paint. Like this is something I, I really enjoy. I think they're fun painting these pictures like this, paintings like this. Maybe give it to your niece or your um, your daughter or something like that. I think it'd be cute for a room. I just added a little bit more water and I'm evening out her skin tone. And we could put another coat on her later. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with how she's looking right now. So acrylic paints look better and better as you build them up. Not like when you put a big old clump on there and try to smooth it all out. Yeah, it doesn't work well when you do that. That's why I always emphasize small amount of paint, a little bit at a time, blending it in. That's why I keep saying that. I keep saying small amount of paint, small amount of paint. Okay, so I'm gonna wait for you guys to catch up. Take another sip of menage a trois. <laughs> <laughs> and um, get another question from Mr. Will if he's ready or from any of you I didn't paint the wine glass by the way it is my favorite look at it isn't it gorgeous I think we need to paint these because everybody asks me that all the time I got this up here one well Miss, Miss Patricia and Indy uh, said she tried her hand at, or tried to do it freehand and said so we'll, we'll show the results at the end oh okay girl I like that. I like that. Okay, so um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work on the fro a little bit more because I'm waiting. So we do things in stages because we want certain parts of the painting to dry while we work on other places and then we go back to that place. We try to use the color that we have on our brush for everything we're going to use it for. Like the next color we're going to use is red and we're going to do our lips and we're going to do the, the, the sucker. And then the very last thing that we always use is uh, is white. So I'm kind of digging the way that she's looking right now. But I need to fix her fro. So how do we fix the fro? I am going to, hope I'm not going too fast. Everybody good? We cool? <laughs> we good, we good, we good. I'm using my blue handle brush, swish it around the water, wipe it off on my blue paper towel. And then I'm going to use my black paint and I'm going to work on her fro. And what I'm doing when I'm working on her fro is I am going around the perimeter, adding some more texture to her fro. And then I'm going to do that little piece that's coming down right here. 
and then that other little piece that's coming like right behind her ear. Then I'm going to do her eye because I have black. I'm going to have black on my brush, so I'm going to do her um, eye. I'm going to paint this black part right here in her mouth, and then I'm going to do her choker because I'll have black on my brush, and I want to use the black everywhere I can. Okay, so going into my black, going along the edges. Adding more texture. And all I'm doing is just patting my brush down to make the dots. I'm just patting it down with the flat of the brush, not like spreading all the bristles. It's just kind of like the flat of the brush. And you'll see the effect once you start playing around with it. You'll see what you what we're going for. And then with this small brush, I'm going to do that part right down. There's actually a line there to guide you. I'm just gonna tap and do a little bit of hair there. And then right under her ear, a little bit of hair there. Using, I'm just using like the corner of the brush, I guess, just tapping it down. And then right along her hairline, right on her face, I don't want that just plain old straight line, right? So I'm dabbing a little bit of paint right along that line to get some texture in her hair. Going all the way around her face. I'm looking at my reference photo. I'm looking at my painting down here, but you can look at your reference photo. And you're gonna go all the way around. You don't want any straight lines. Anything that's just a straight line, you want to add some texture to it by putting those little dots around the dabs of paint. Filling up those gaps that might have been there. Now you can also take your paintbrush and add a few little textured marks because the first coat has dried and it'll give it another different effect too. You might even want to take the sponge brush and kind of play around with the effect you'll get inside the fro. We'll talk about that later. Ooh, I like her. You see her coming to life? Okay, got black on my paintbrush, very small amount of black paint. If you have a lot, you might want to wipe it off on your paper towel because it takes a steady hand and a fine line to get that eye, that swirl in the eye. And I'm going to go outside of her face. Now, you might want to take the Take the canvas off the easel, put it in your lap, work closely so you get that smooth little flow. Or you might just do it right on the easel. Um, I, I know a, a lot of people, when it, they don't have a steady hand, so you can use your, uh, your opposite hand to kind of brace your other hand to try to get the smooth flow. You might not do the whole flow in one stroke. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do it a little bit at a time and build it up. So I'm going, I got to look at the reference photo. So it's going to swoop up when I come off her face, right? out of her face. So I'm going long, I'm just very small amount of paint and I'm going to swoop up when I come out of her face. With me? I hope so. And then since I have black on my paintbrush right in the middle of her mouth there, that's black too, I believe. Yes. I'm going to fill that black part in her mouth. I haven't even gone back into my black paint again. Um, I'm also gonna extend the line a little bit over her lip. Haven't gone back into my black paint again, and I'm just gonna randomly make a mark for her, a straight line for her choker, somewhere in the middle of her neck. Now, if you're running out of paint, dip into your, go back into your black paint, just a small amount. Make it a little thicker if you want. Okay, I'm getting excited because she's coming to life. Y'all excited? I'm excited. With the little black I have on my paintbrush, I'm also going to put a little line on her stick there. And then I'm going to do a little bit of highlighting on her fingers. The finger, the hand is hard. You're going to have to take a little time with that maybe later and work on her hand a little bit. I like her. You guys like her? <laughs> you like her well? She's coming. She's coming in. <laughs> So, um, like I said, I hope you're taking pictures as you go along. Um, what I'm going to do now is I am going to 
See what her arm looks like when I add another coat of brown on her. Like you might be okay with the color that she is or how the, the paint spread on there. But I just wanna see if I put another coat of brown on her arm. I like that look. I like how it, you don't see the, the canvas coming through there. It becomes a little bit more opaque. So you might wanna go around her whole body again with brown. If you want, totally up to you. I just wanted you to see what it looks like if you do that. I'm gonna leave her arm like that. So, totally up to you. Um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to do red. Is that what I'm gonna do? Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. It's kind of fun like doing these paintings because they're all new. Like I, it's very rare that I do the same painting twice. So I'm kind of learning how, I mean, I'm teaching it for the first time. So I practice a little bit and I try to think of the easiest steps because um, I want this to be fun for you. I don't want it to be stressful. I want you to be like, that was really easy. And I want your friends to be shocked and amazed. By the way, don't tell any of them that it was traced, okay? Just tell them you did it yourself, okay? <laughs> so going into the red paint. I have a little tiny thing of red paint. It doesn't take much. All we're doing is a sucker on her lips unless you decide to paint her white shirt red, which you could do that if you wanted to, but I don't, I don't know if you have enough red paint because I didn't put that much in there for because there were only two things that you had to paint. But it's totally up to you. Like her, If you have enough red paint, if you painted her shirt red, that would be kind of fun with little black polka dots or white polka dots or something. I don't know. I'm just talking. <laughs> okay, so red paint. I hope I'm not going too fast. Am I going too fast? Everybody seems cool. Everybody's quiet. Painting in the sucker first. So I'm, again, just fill it in. And if you notice, I don't know if you noticed on the sucker, there's kind of a line going through the upper part of it if you look at the reference photo. So I'm gonna use the red paint and I'm just gonna take the tip of my paintbrush and do that straight line across. I wonder what that, I wonder what that straight, uh, why suckers have that. <laughs> None of them are totally round, but anyway. So that's kind of fun. It makes it look like a sucker when you do that. And then again, just a small part amount of paint. I'm doing her lips. Tommy says she's so far behind, but if something that's important, let me know. <laughs> oh, you're not behind. It basically, I think it's pretty much like coloring from this point. You can look at your reference photo. There's no special design or anything that we're doing that, or technique. Once you get that brown skin the way you want it, I think that's probably the trickiest part of the whole thing. This is about 90% through the painting. Remember I told you I'm only taking you 90% of what I want to do next is show you how to do her, the flower. If you notice, it's pink, not red. And the way we do that is we just mix a little bit of white with the red paint and make pink, right? So I'm just going to put a little bit of red on my tray. I'm going to take a little bit of white, just lift a little bit of white right out of the container on my brush. And then I'm going to make pink. Just like, ooh, that's not a good picture. Uh, I don't know. Can you see it? Like right there in that corner. But anyway, you'll get it once you mix it together. <laughs> so I got pink here, and I'm just gonna, with the corner of my paintbrush, make that circle for her, for the flower. Make it kind of big. Got it? Sean said nice. Hey, thanks, Sean. <laughs> okay, so. If you're not liking the way her skin's looking, of course, you can apply another coat. Like around her mouth, I see like it's white. I don't really like that. I'm gonna put another coat on her face and smooth out a little bit around her face. You can also make her lips a little bigger, bigger to connect the white. You don't want any white showing, okay? So that's the idea. So I'm just kinda putting another coat of brown on there. Um, of course, the red's going to look bigger and better and brighter as you build it up. So the first coat has to dry. 
Then you can put another coat of red on there. So let the first coat dry. And you can add even another coat, two or three coats, whatever you like, of red to make the red stand out a little bit more. Just make sure there's no white showing through on the lips. And Tanya, if you're way behind, watch the replay. Play it back, okay? Okay, so the white. The last part I have is the white. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to rinse out my paintbrush in that blue water. Doesn't matter that it's blue, because you're going to take that paper towel and you're going to wipe it off. And then the last part is white. And then I'm going to leave you to finish your masterpieces. Don't forget to sign it, okay? So white. Where is their white? There's some white highlights in her sucker. There's some white highlights in her lips. And then her shirt is actually white. So are we going to paint the shirt white? Yes, we are. Yes, you are. I'm gonna leave you to do that because I think you can handle that. I wanna show you how to make the flower. Um, the flower is just lines, like straight up lines all around, the, um, all around that pink circle you made. So I'm going into my white paint and I'm just putting lines just all around that circle. And if you don't like it, you can wait for it to dry and then put paint the blue over it if you make a mistake, which there are no mistakes, right? I'm going right into her skin with the with the white. You like that? You can't really see it that good because of the way the light's hitting it. But anyway, she's pretty cute. So it's kind of a backward mirror image too when you look on the on the screen. But anyway, so to finish her up, I would paint in her shirt. Maybe put another coat of brown if you don't like how her skin is looking. And the reason why I want to put the white on here because I just don't want it to be canvas. I want it to be protected a little bit. And you can blend in those lines a little bit on her, her booby lines. <laughs> you don't want just that hard line. That's how we get that gray effect because we put black down there. So when you go over it in white, you can blend it a little bit. So I want you to take your time and put her together. And if you notice, she even has a little, she has a little mole on her face. I just use the back of my paintbrush. Or you can use a tip or the corner. And I put a little mole on her face right here, which I thought is cute, like a little beauty mark. Can't really see it right there, but you can see it on your reference photo. And I think we're good. So there's a few highlights on the suckers, just a few little brush marks, you know. But I put another coat of red on her lips and on the sucker to make it a little bit brighter. But anyway, that's it. I have taken 90% through the painting, a good 50 minutes. I love that, I try to keep it under an hour. I hope you have fun. If you wanna paint with me tomorrow night, we're doing smooth sailing. Do, 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 do. Let me show you what it looks like. I almost fell off the stool. That would've been funny. <laughs> not that funny, but this is smooth sailing. It is not pre-traced. So we're gonna take you step by step on how to do this one. <laughs> but anyway. Um, that's tomorrow night. I do still have some kits available. You can pick it up tomorrow between 2 and 4 if you're interested. Um, I think that is it. Thank you so much for your attention. Thank you so much for your support. This is so fun. Um, be safe. I mean, yeah, that's all I want to say about that is be safe. And um, Will, you want to say anything to the peeps? <laughs> God bless. Thank you for coming out. See you next time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everybody.